Happy hunting. My newest project for this year is going to be a groundbreaker. I built him already and it's like a prototype and I'm about to build another. Um, this one took a little bit to get it right down right and uh, I got a speed control on her so you'll see that in a little bit here. I'm going to go over a little bit of the parts you're going to need. Um, I always buy most of my stuff from Fright Props that I, if I can. They're pretty good at uh, what they make and uh, they're easy to uh, buy from. So I bought a wiper motor from them. I didn't buy this from them though. This is a DC motor uh, control, speed control. Found that on eBay for like three bucks from China. Um, cut pieces of wood. And you'll see all kinds of different uh, cuts on here, but uh, five and a half, five and a half. And that's going to be the top of my board, and I'll show you where that goes later. This is going to be the top of it, uh, and it's going to go up and down on 10 inch door slides. These are going to be the arms. There's four of them, 10 inches a piece. This is going to be the Dracula. Uh, I redid his eyes with uh, 24 or 26 millimeters off of eBay. He just had to do eyes and 24 or 26 millimeter, and you'll find those. Um, I tore them out and redid them. Used um, blood from Fright Props, and uh, like on this guy, you can see he's really shiny, and that is uh, wet that you can buy from Fright Props. They got grime, wet, and uh, blood. And once in a while, they'll throw them out there for sale with free uh, shipping, and that's a good time to buy it. And it, a little goes a long way. I mean, I still have, oh God, probably uh, 50, or no, shoot, 90% of both, all of them still left to do more projects, and I've done a lot with them. Um, also, I bought uh, the bracket for the uh, wiper motor and then I built this here we'll call it a cradle and you got to get uh, this to fit inside here so I cut down the two by four to fit this inside but that's five and a quarter here it's two inches from the bottom to the base of the uh, wood plate I'm using or wood uh, um, that I get from Home Depot a circular and I, I prime it and I paint it and like all my props and it's 12 uh, eight and a half inches on the side three and a half inch um, hinges we'll go through that too um, using a 3 8 24 all rod threaded um, bought this from Granger in six foot uh, lengths really cheap like four or five bucks at Granger um, then I bought uh, these click quick connects from uh, their Steiger Jagger and I got them online I got 10 for like 23 bucks shipped uh, they're 3 8 tw uh, 24 uh, and they're quick release they go on and off easy um, I'm going to thread those on there, stop nuts on that. Um, other than that, we'll start building it and I'll start talking about it. One thing you definitely want to do is get a 12-volt uh, um, DC um, 10 amp for this uh, adapter, power adapter, because this thing does use a lot of power and you don't want to get anything with low ambage or you'll have problems. But um, I might have this be uh, sound. I don't know about this year. Uh, it's just going to go up and down this year. And same with this guy. I bought him a goth kind of an outfit with a uh, white fluffy, you know, the puffy shirt from Seinfeld, kind of like that look. Uh, when I get down to that, I'll have it all together. But uh, this is a preliminary, and we'll uh, start building it. And uh, one thing I've learned is that build it, build the base and all that, get it all together, then fit it on the, uh, on the uh, base. Um, you don't want anything that's uh, binding or anything like that. So you want to build it and then put it on the base, and then it'll all fit, it'll fit easily and work well. So let me start building it, and I'll stop in here and there and uh, go through it. I started making the um, cradle, which is going to be the main body of it. I mounted the bracket, which will hold the uh, wiper motor. I've mounted the 10 inch drawer slides halfway between the, the two by four and two and three quarters from the bottom on both sides. Okay. And now I'm going to make the top part, which is going to go up and down by the um, wiper motor. And I'll get that together. These are going to be your sides up here. These are five and a half each and they're going to be up and down and screwed to the back of the, uh, drawer slides but uh, let me get that together and uh, 
We'll go All right. Now I've mounted the sideboards, five and a uh, half inches. Mounted them inside. Let me get this going here. There we go. So I mounted them in there. It's easy to do this way. I was going to build it all together and then put it back on, but it's harder to get inside here and drill and all that. One thing you learn with wood today, you want to pre-drill everything or it will split on you. So I did both sides. Um, they'll go up maximum extent that far. I'm going to put the top board on. Then I'm going to start uh, working. I'm going to put a hole in the middle um, on all these props. Uh, the head can come off. I don't have it mounted on there. It, it stays on. It doesn't move, especially when you put a shirt on and all that, and it's locked in. So, but um, so let me start doing that. Let me get this on here, screwed in, and like I said, I pre-drill everything. So this is going to be pre-drilled and then screwed in with the three and a halfs here, and uh, I just use you know three quarters to an inch um, drywall screws or wood screws if you can find them. I just use what I have around. And then I'll build, start building the arms. Just mounted the top board, which is 15 inches, and which is going to be the shoulders of the prop. And um, pre-drilled it, three and a half inch screws. It's one and three eighths between here and here. Um, if you do it the exact same way I built this, um, you can see mounted the bracket which holds the wiper motor, which is flush with the back. Motor is going to be inside here, and the armature will be out this side. Um, let me start um, putting the arms on, and uh, the hinges for that, and the arms, which are 10-inch boards that are already primed with uh, dry dry lock. Um, that's what I use. Anything uh, to make sure. Living up in Michigan, and uh, if you want your props outside, uh, you're going to have rain. Uh, today, in fact, it's raining outside, and all my props are outside. Um, and I'll have a video of all those things out there uh, when Halloween comes. So I mounted the two, which are going to be the shoulder hinges, flipped up, flipped the base upside down, it makes it easier. And I always try to keep the pin off the hinge itself to the front of the prop. It's a lot easier to open it up when you have button up shirts in it. So I can, if I need to do any work on it, which I hope I don't, <laughs> but, um, it's a lot easier to keep everything that, instead of going through the back and have to take everything apart. Um, so I screwed, I of course pre-drilled, did the first screw hole, line that up, screw it in, and then I do the other holes so they don't move. But did both sides. Now I'm gonna start building the uh, rest of the arms and uh, eventually we're gonna mount this right to the board itself. So, and then we'll start working on the motor and uh, the linkage and everything else that goes on with that. All right. I've gotten the arms mounted, uh, the hinges, um, that one and three eighths gives you a good mount for the base of the um, hinge. And like I said, I put all the pins in front that are easier to do. Same on here, another t the 10 inch boards, mounted it to the base, um, cut a hole, one and a half inches, because you use one and a half inch uh, pipe for the uh, PVC coming out of the neck. It goes up and down right now, but it'll go down easier and all that when I finally get the motor mounts. Same thing on the other side, 10 inch board, 10 inch board. It takes six, um, three and a half inch um, hinges. I think I only said four at the beginning, but it is, it is six. And they came with their own screws and all that and they work out fine. Like I say, I always pre-drill everything anymore. The way wood is anymore, it, it just likes to crack. So now I'm going to um, start installing the motor. Um, got the head over here, so we're going to put him in there real quickly to show you what it's going to look like when it's in. There he goes. But um, and then I'm going to use some pool noodles to fatten up the, at least the fronts of the uh, wood and around the shoulders and that. And then I'll dress them up and all that. And uh, that will be done for this year. I ain't going to try to uh, add voice to it, but uh, I think I'm getting a little too uh, little uh, time left for the Halloween season. All right, I got to the mounting of the motor, which I put on its like on an angle. It's the best way of doing on this. And 
with the way I do the mask and you put it in the in the hole you still have clearance underneath there and um, it's just gonna barely hit it I mean when I start it up we'll see if it makes any difference sometimes it's kind of cool as it rocks the head a little bit and removes it but uh, I could add to that or not if I want it to do anything like that I'll be mounting this to the speed control in a little bit here uh, all you need is the blue and the red out of this. And this is right on the motor, uh, wiper motor, exactly how to wire it. Then I'll have this go right to the power supply. And then I'll have that going in a second here. Let's go in the back and see what I did here. Um, I had a clevis bracket that I put in. And I put one of the ball joints off the Steiger, uh, Steiger Jagger. Um, so it makes a quick connect. All right, put the armature on, 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 on. Had to drill it out for this thickness of a, I think these are three eighths. So I had to drill it out and put a locking nut on both ends of these. So they'll never come out unless I really force them out. But, uh, so it's all mounted. Like I said, the motor, uh, the bracket, I made it center with the hole, with the hole here being centered with the hole of the, uh, uh, prop mask. Now I'm just going to put this back on here and then I'm going to get this all together and I'm going to start to dry running it and um, see how it works. Make sure there's no kinks or anything like that or something's hitting. But like I said, you want a 12 volt 10 amp because this does take some amperage and which I did buy off eBay too. I almost buy almost everything I get from eBay. A few things I get from Fright props, but I have found a uh, cheaper option, especially on the speed control and um, the bracket you can't find anywhere. I mean, it's 20 bucks, but it works well. And the same with the motors, so you can't touch their motors for any cheaper. Uh, and they're so easy to uh, use. So let me uh, wire them up, get them going, and we dry run them and see if he works. All right, I got it all mounted and wired. So let's go over what's going on here. Um, with these quick connects, it's easy to take this on and off. As you can see, the armature is just going around in circles. And uh, with a speed control, I can do it higher or lower, wherever I want. Now, this is not the firing wiring and all that, is I wanna, it, you can go faster or go slower, how you ever want to do it. But um, I'm gonna rewire, I'm gonna put more wire to it and I'm going to put this inside of an ammo box, which I'm going to mount probably right about by right here so it doesn't hit it like that. And I put everything in there so it doesn't uh, get wet or anything. We live in Michigan, of course. And then, and I got this at, you know, I don't know if you guys got Harbor Freight near you, but 20% uh, off everything, always a coupon, and you get something free all the time. So I'm going to have to go up there and get one more of these, wire it, put everything in there. That, um, AC adapter, speed control in there, and that. Now eventually, I do have a, uh, I want to put voice to it, but um, we'll see if I can get it done. If I can get one of these done, it'd be great. But uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut pool noodles, put it right here, 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 and here. Just uh, one set in front. You don't need to do both sides because if you don't have a big enough shirt or whatever it is, it's not gonna work well. Um, but, um, Going up to, I already got my shirt for him. Um, couldn't find anything like that at uh, Salvation Army, but he's dressed in Salvation Army stuff. I made him like a Christmas kind of, he was, you know, buried at Christmas thing. But um, as you can see you know, on him, of course, the, the gloss, which I'm gonna do with this guy in a little bit here too, after I get them all done. But see how that head's in the rocking? It's just moving back and forth, and it gives a little bit more movement on this guy. So I'm happy with that. That's why I don't mount the uh, head all the way down. So, but uh, that's about it. It's gonna, I'll do one more little bit on his final product after I get it all to completed, but uh, pretty much that's uh, you know, the hardest part of it. And uh, I love how the uh, drawer slides go up and down. It's a lot easier and uh, it, you know, it's gonna last. I hope that's what I like to build my most of my stuff is to last forever. So with little or no uh, maintenance. Okay.
Well, happy haunting. Got them both done, the groundbreakers. Bloody this one up, used wet on it to give it a glossy finish. Same with the blood. After you put the blood on, you might want to put some um, wet on it. I find that the best blood at uh, on Fright Props is Perma Blood. So if you're going to do it, uh, use the best one they got. This guy is also bloodied up, and also you can see I use grime on them too. Um, that's another thing that Fright Props sells. And I cover it with wet after it's done. So it's almost like giving a schlack to it. Um, on this one, and both of them are the exact same thing. Inside here, you'll see there is a cord. And from the wiper motor itself, I put a 18 gauge five conductor. Since there's five conductors coming out of the motor, I ran a, um, with a sprinkler cable. Uh, I got six foot of it to do both of them, had plenty over. And I used some different uh, clips to hold the wire in place. All right, then on back, I put a ammo box and I put some watertight connectors, used a, ran a, um, a cord to it. Cord goes in the other side and a wire connector. My uh, speed controls in there and my uh, adapter, my AC, uh, my uh, 12 volt 10 amp adapters inside that box. So it keeps them waterproof. Put the shirt over the top of it, prevents it to getting in the um, linkage of the um, armature and that on the wiper motor. Next year they'll make noise. This year they didn't have enough time, but uh, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do from noise and I found some speakers in that uh, motorcycle, little small mic motorcycle speakers that are uh, exterior type uh, for outdoor use. But uh, happy how they both turned out. They look pretty scary. And hopefully you guys try one. And if you have any uh, questions, don't hesitate to ask. And happy haunting.